Uncle Go Clip. One of the things that I've been also known for recently, actually, is that I've been the initiator of the digital nomad visa uh, in Croatia. So one day I woke up and I wrote an open letter on LinkedIn to our Prime Minister Andrei Plenković in Croatia. Uh, the LinkedIn post exploded, uh, got over 300,000 views. And uh, very soon after that, I actually was contacted by the Prime Minister's office. Uh, who suggested that I would send an official email to him. And after that, everything just started snowballing. Uh, and, and, and now we're actually actively communicating with ministries that are now involved. So labor, finance, Ministry of Interior, health insurance, uh, pension fund, to, um, uh, to, to actively work on, on getting the visa for Croatia, for welcoming digital nomads. So that's that's a bit of an introduction on, on on what I've been doing here in Croatia. That's an awesome introduction, Darian. I feel like it's a really great idea and that it has so much potential there. But can you kind of describe it how it will work in the practical sense? Well, I mean, first of all, um, you know, ever since we all had to go into lockdown, I think that more and more individuals, but also more and more companies, are open to the idea of having their staff work fully remote. Uh, this was already a trend where, of course, more and more people were going to work uh, from home or from wherever they want to. And now because of COVID-19, I think that this trend has only been accelerated. Estonia was actually in June. They were the first country to announce that they were going to introduce a digital nomad visa. And they have, in the meanwhile, uh, issued the first visas and they're actually welcoming digital nomads now to come to live and work from Estonia. Uh, and, and Croatia, as, as many people might know, but Croatia is, is, is it's a great uh, destination for tourists. I mean, 20% of Croatia's GDP is coming from tourism. And now, of course, also because of COVID-19, uh, the Croatian economy has been impacted severely because of, of, of tourists not being able to come here anymore. And a couple of um, months ago, I was asked at one virtual conference if I could think of an answer on what we can do to turn Croatia into a year-round destination. And then, uh, to me, it came that, that, that we should be welcoming digital nomads. And, you know, just to, to summarize what this visa would be, it would basically regulate the fact that digital nomads who can work fully remote from wherever they want to be, uh, but they can work from Croatia, so their staying permit for up to 12 months needs to be regulated and of course there also needs to be uh, complete transparency and, 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 and clarity on uh, what are for example the tax issues uh, are you allowed to provide services to Croatian companies are you allowed to be employed by Croatian companies now the answers to that are no and no you are not allowed to work for Croatian companies nor are you allowed to provide services to Croatian companies but you are allowed to uh, to stay in Croatia for up to 12 months and to do your job for foreign companies or foreign employers from here. Yeah, makes sense. I, I feel that a lot of people want to use the, you know, flexibility of doing their job from the ideal version that everybody dreams about is doing their job from a beach, right? Where they can look at the sea, enjoy the sun and kind of do on their laptop. And it's funny, I heard a guy online say like, I wouldn't do that. Imagine getting sand on your laptop. That wouldn't be convenient. <laughs> but uh, of course, it's, it's, it's not that. It's the flexibility to have to move to another country and to um, work for the same company that you've been working for in the previous country. Um, do you know um, for which companies it will be available? Um, is there like a list that has been put together or it, would it be like universal? Like how would that work? No, it, 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 it's not going to work in a way that uh, you as a company can apply or qualify for that you know this is really a visa that is issued on an individual basis mm -hmm. so on a person and you know some companies they they if they would allow their staff to work fully remote and they don't have to even be in the same city or in the same country and they would allow their staff to work from anywhere in the world then those individuals they would basically be able to apply for a visa in estonia or barbados or georgia or uh, hopefully very soon in croatia too Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the full version, go to the Uncle Gold Podcast YouTube channel or watch the next clip.